Hey YouTube, welcome back to Pro Wrenching. Today I'm going to talk about circuit breakers, most importantly for trolling motors. I recently upgraded the trolling motor on this boat um, to this Minn Kota Maxim Pro. And uh, what it had on there was this original old thruster trolling motor, uh, which was a 12 volt trolling motor. And it actually still worked when I got it. I, I tried it out there, but it uh, worked good when you didn't have much wind and you were in a cove, but didn't quite have the power that I was looking for. If a little wind came up, it wouldn't do the job. And now we've got this Maxim Pro on there. And even in a, in a strong wind, I can take the boat across the lake. And so I've got this new trolling motor installed. And um, one thing to know that you want to do is when you install the trolling motor, you want to know the amperage draw that the trolling motor has. Um, I'm not sure what the amp draw on this old thruster trolling motor was, being 12 volts, but it wasn't that much. The receptacle up front um, was a 20 or 30 amp, and also it had a 30 amp circuit breaker. Now, this Minn Kota Maxim Pro, I looked on the uh, Minn Kota website, and this trolling motor drew 56 amps, up to 56 amps. So you wanna make sure that your trolling motor receptacle and your circuit breaker will handle uh, at least that. So I upgraded this to the Marinco 70 amp plug, uh, 24 volt, it'll do 24 or 36. I've got this wired for the 24 volt. Um, and uh, so I also needed to upgrade the circuit breaker because I had a, a 30 amp circuit breaker and that's not gonna cut the mustard when we got up to a 56 amp draw. So I uh, upgraded the circuit breaker to this style and I chose a 70 amp circuit breaker so that way I would have more than enough to cover the 56 amps. And on this style, um, it goes on the positive lead. You've got your positive lead coming here and then on one side going out to the trolling motor. Um, the one that I picked was like weather weatherproof as well. I do like this style. It has a button where you can hit this button and it'll disconnect it. And that's also what happens if the uh, circuit breaker was to trip. So if you have a, a positive go to ground, the circuit breaker is gonna trip. Or if you have a major malfunction with your trolling motor or your receptacle, that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna trip your circuit breaker and that way you don't end up melting wires and having to melt down on your boat with the batteries. So you wanna make sure that you've got a circuit breaker and that it's the correct amperage for your trolling motor. On, on my boat where I've got that mounted is Right here on the inside, um, I mounted two batteries and I connected them in series for uh, the 24 volt and then the circuit breaker, the 70 amp, I mounted right here in position where the old one was. Okay, as you can see here, this is the circuit breaker that I've installed and I just got it held in place with a couple of screws here and we've got the positive lead coming in and the positive lead coming out. It's a real simple install. And then here's the button that trips. Um, or it's nice, you can also um, hit that button and then it's just a battery a disconnect. So if you wanna just disconnect the battery quick, you can hit that button. And then to put it back, you just simply put it back in and then you're ready to go. And I've done a couple of the, uh, the videos on upgrading your trolling motor plugs that you can check out and also have done some trolling motor repair videos, but I haven't mentioned anything about the circuit breaker, so I just wanted to make sure to mention that. And again, you can look up your trolling motor model number on, on the manufacturer website for Minn Kota. It's Minn Kota, they'll show you uh, how many amp draw it is, and that way you'll know what circuit breaker you need, and also what amp rated receptacle that you're gonna need for your boat. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.